animal guards. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do some pruning of the uh, spring pruning of the shrubs. And the first one I chose was one of the hydrangeas. And there are quite a few hydrangeas and people are always wondering, well, how do I prune this and this hydrangea? Um, well, it's a trick because some of them have to be pruned now and some of them later in the summer. This one is uh, the hydrangea paniculata that is going to bloom on the new growth, so it has to be pruned now. It's about two to three years old shrub, and uh, we need to prune it to, um, to kind of give it some structure. Um, this is a good time and good height to kind of find the structure of the shrub. Uh, we need to uh, probably put it at the height of the three feet. The reason we want to do it here is because this stem is going to su support the new growth and it's not going to flop. If we put it all the way down, yes, it will have new growth and beautiful, beautiful flowers, but it will be too heavy and will be lying on the ground. So um, before I do any pruning, um, I'm just going to show you very quickly how to take care of your, pr of your pruners and how to uh, prevent the plants from disease and viruses. So um, it's always a good practice to give it, uh, to sanitize your tools and um, give them a little wipe. If you are concerned about wasting your precious sanitized um, supplies, you can always put in a dishwasher and uh, next day just give it a little WD-40 to keep it running nice and smooth and I use a pruning um, sharpening stone like this one always with me so I can give it a quick sharpening. So you grab your pruners like this, okay? and then you flip it towards you. You have your pruning uh, sharpening stone and you just go along the blade a few times, nice and smooth. This is pretty much it. And then just one time on the other side. And that's it. It's nice and sharp. So I'm ready now to a few bit of pruning. So I am going to look at the height of three roughly, and um, probably looking for stems that uh, dub two buds and just above, nice and flat cut above. Here we go. There's another one here, looking good. Another one here, just a little bit higher, that's okay. And then, nice, steady, clean cut all the way around. If you don't see any buds here, that's okay because these two will come out as soon as we give it a clear. So the way you recognize the paniculata hydrangea is got kind of more narrow leaves and then last year flowers are kind of a cone shape. Here we go. You see this one is getting a little bit too heavy now, so it does need a uh, This is one of the hydrangeas here, and then I'm going to go and finish them, finish the rest of them later. So that's the paniculata hydrangea. 